Hey guys, in this session, we're going to be looking at multiplying uh, these types of numbers here. Now, um, I am going to put a disclaimer right at the start, all right? And that is this. If you already know how to do this and you are super comfortable with your own method, then by all means, stick by it, all right? You don't have to watch this. You don't have to actually pick up any um, kind of new things. If you're comfortable with what you're doing, that is absolutely fine. So, um, and I'm just going to show you guys how I kind of... God, uh, I learned this a, a very long time ago. Um, like I said, if you know something else that works for you, great, stick with it. Um, I just want to show you guys how I've been kind of working around with this for a while. So 410 times 7. Um, I will, no, I'm not going to, I'm just going to go straight into it. Yeah, let's just go through this. So one of the things that um, I tend to do is I always stack it up like this, right? 410 times 7. Um, and basically, it's just, you know, I take the 7 and I multiply it with 0. Uh, so that's going to give me, let me actually do some different colors here, just so you can actually follow what's happening. So I've got 7 times 0, which is going to be 0. And then I've got 7 times 1. Um, notice I'm actually writing underneath uh, the particular numbers that I'm actually multiplying by. So when I do 7 times 1, uh, I'm actually writing the 7 underneath the 1. And then finally, I've got 7 times 4, which actually equals to 28. So my first answer that I've got here, 410 times 7, is 2,870. All right, so let's have a look at how would I do it if in the next situation, when I start getting a bit more bigger numbers. So pretty much starting the same way, uh, I'm going to start with um, 3 times 5. So when I do 3 times 5 here, I'm getting 15. Uh, and I guess this is what, you know, you kind of have to understand. You know, you've got 15, which means um, you've got 5 there, but then the 1 goes on top of that 7. And the reason it does is because 15 is actually 5, uh, five ones and 1 tens, and that's where that 1 extra tens is going to be at. So next we've got 3 times 7. Uh, which happens to be 21. And, and of course, we've got to add that 1 now, which means it's going to be 22. So we're going to write that 2 and also chuck that 2 at the top there. Uh, hopefully you're with me in this. Next, we've got 3 times 2, which equals to 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. So 8 ends up being there. And then finally, we've actually got, uh, I need a different color here. Let's do this. 3 times 1, which happens to be 3. So we should get 3,825. Always a good idea to check. Uh, even though you've been doing it, well, I've been doing this for this long, it's quite easy to get things wrong. Nope, happy with that. So that's all good, right? Now, what about 75 times 25? Now, I would say, you know, if, you, if this method is a bit challenging for you, you could always split this up, all right? You could split this up as 75 times 20 plus 75 times 5, all right? That's, that's kind of like one way of doing it, um, just because it's easier to work with it. But I'm going to do it my way, all right? And I'm going to show you guys um, how it actually works it's pretty much the exact same way as what we've, um, what you do in that second line here, uh, but just kind of putting it all together. So first, I'm going to have 5 times 5, which is 25. I'm going to put that 2 on top. Uh, next, I've got 5 times 7. So that's 35 plus 2, which is 37. I'm just going to go slightly here, and I want to show you guys... All I've done here uh, right now is the 75 and 5. So that's what that 75 times 5 is. So that's actually equal to 375. All right, let's just uh, get these colors out. I'm going to put that down here, which is, that is my 375. Now I'm going to do 75 times 20. All right. Now, because I'm doing 75 times 20, what I'm going to do is I am going to be starting from 2 times 5 like this. But when I do 2 times 5, I'm going to get 10. I don't actually put, I don't actually put 10 here. All right? I always start, um, because remember that this is actually 20, right? So it's kind of like there's a 0 there. And if you're trying to wonder where that came from, that's where the 20 is. But I might be confusing you, and I do apologize for that. 
but the ideology is that like you always write it underneath that um underneath that letter that's what you tend to do so you got 75 times 2 um, so I'm going to do 5 times 2 first which is 10 and I'm going to put a 1 on top so notice that green 2 really doesn't matter this is for the next slot that I'm working on then I'm going to do 2 times 7 which is 14 uh, plus that 1 which is this one here is going to give me 15 all right, so it's 1,150 is what is there. But remember that was multi I multiplied it by 20. So kind of like there's a zero that ends up being there. So if we add it all up, we're going to get 5, 7, 8, 1. And if you were to do this separately, right? So if you were to do 75 times 20, um, you know, we don't really worry about the zero. Like we can put the zero first and then 75 times 2 is 150. And if you notice, that's what's come up there. And then 75 times 5, which was equal to 375, ends up being in the top line. And then when you add it up, you get 1,875. Um, it's not necessary that you need to know this method, but it's just a little algorithm that kind of helps. Um, I mean, I know that you guys have calculators, so it's not a biggie. But it's just something that's um, kind of worth knowing how to do, like just like how long division will be later on. Anyway, guys, that's basically it for this uh, video. Thank you for watching, as always.